So now let's get to the water testing. Now, arguably, these three water sources should end up being pretty close to one another uh, because they're all drinking waters. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to really see how they measure up and to see how uh, effective this water filter is uh, compared to the bottled water. So we'll see what we discover. Let's take a look at what comes inside of the testing kit. So taking a look at what this testing kit contains, um, here we have, uh, this is the back of this little insert here. It says, here's your testing kit from Test Assured. Our goal is to provide affordable and easy to use testing supplies in order to help people see uh, what is in your drinking water and if it is safe for you and your loved ones. All right, so when we open this up, we have uh, this little container and it includes a lead test strip, pesticide test strip, a test vial, and a dropper pipette. So we can take a look at those things. I wanted to see what they looked like before, so I already opened this. Alrighty. So here is my test vial, test strips. Here's a little dropper here, right, so I can pull the water out and then drop it onto the test strips. And there's also a little packet um, that we will be using for one of the tests as well. Okay, then I have my uh, bacteria test instructions. So um, for the bacteria test, we're going to use this little vial here. Um, so you collect your water sample and then pour it into uh, this little cap here. Then we're going to shake up uh, the little vial for 20 seconds and let that sit for 48 hours. So then in a couple days, I will give you all uh, the results of the bacteria test. So then in this little baggie, we have the chlorine, copper, nitrate, nitrite tests. So these will be, again, little test strips uh, with that little vial there. So looking at all of these various tests, they all work a little bit differently. Um, so let's go ahead and start testing this water out. All right, so let's start with our first test. I'm going to start with the Better Water Factory water. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the cleanest of the different water sources I'm testing. Okay, so we're gonna start out uh, with the chlorine, copper, nitrate, and nitrite test. So dipping in the water, swirling, one, two, three. Uh, so this is really cool. I don't know if y'all can quite see this, um, but essentially uh, we then hold up the strip. So this is going to be this far end one, and then we're just going to hold it up to these various colors, and this is how we determine the amount. So next we're going to uh, do the copper test. That's the next thing to do. So here on my little chart, it shows me that copper is the second strip here. So I'm going to hold these up, and again, I'm definitely going to say... Let's see. I don't know. Actually, it could be maybe like 1.3 ppm. It's definitely not uh, as orange as the zero, but it's just slightly between that. So I would even say this is maybe somewhere between zero ppm, which is parts per million, and 1.3 parts per million. So the nitrate, which is the third strip right here, again, this is looking like zero parts per million. Barely has any color to it. I can see that definitely seems to match that zero ppm. And then this very last one um, is the nitrite. And again, that pad is just uh, slightly, uh, slightly off white. So I'm gonna say that's zero ppm. I'm going to conclude that this best water factory uh, water um, had the lowest of the low of all of these different contaminants that we're looking at here. So, phew. <laughs> now let's move on to the next test. So next I'm going to do the alkalinity, pH, and hardness test. So on alkalinity, I'm going to say this looks like 40 ppm. 
It's a little bit on the green, slightly green side. Definitely falling somewhere between 0 and 40 parts per million on our alkalinity. Uh, then on the hardness, so that's this uh, far strip over here on the side. I would definitely say that looks like a zero. Those colors pretty much match exactly. Okay, so then the pH test, which is this middle strip, this orange strip, this is looking somewhere between 6.5 and 7 pH, uh, which is considered to be about neutral pH for water. So that's a pretty good, um, pretty, uh, good pH to find here on this water sample. Moving on to the iron test. Uh, once again, this is looking like zero parts per million here on our iron test. Now again, that's a good sign. I wanted to see that all of our levels were gonna be zero with this water. Uh, let's go ahead and test the tap water. It should hopefully look a little different than that filtered water we just looked at, but let's see how it turns out. So starting with our chlorine copper nitrate nitrite, uh, going to put it in, swirl three times. So I would definitely say on this one that this strip is a little more on the green side than the yellow side. Uh, as far as differentiating between that 0.5 parts per million and one part per million, it's a little hard to tell, but it would definitely be somewhere in there. Uh, there's definitely some chlorine in this tap water. Moving over to the copper test, that is the second little one here. I would say our copper uh, looks like it's somewhere between the zero parts per million and 1.3 parts per million, uh, but it's not a significant amount of copper, so that's a good sign. So nitrite is this third little one here. Um, there's definitely some nitrate. Uh, I remember when I was looking at the best water factory water, uh, I was very clearly that little, uh, that little thing was, was beige. It's definitely slightly pink on this test strip. So somewhere between five and 10 parts per million on, on nitrates. And then nitrites, the last strip there, uh, is pretty low. I would say it could be at, you know, zero or maybe just a little bit more than zero. Not quite uh, 0.5 parts per million on the nitrites, though. Okay, so on alkalinity, we definitely have uh, closer to 80 parts per million, I would say. It doesn't look like it's quite as dark as that 120, uh, but it's definitely not like that... Um, uh, that purified water that we tested earlier. This, is, this one is definitely noticeably green. Last test is going to be the iron test. So I'm going to once again change out my sample. It's definitely just a very, very pale pink. Let's say this looks like it's pretty close to zero uh, parts per million on the iron. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do this Dasani or start this Dasani testing. So the first thing, chlorine, copper, nitrate, and nitrite, swirling three times. All right, pull it out. And I can immediately read the chlorine pad. So holding this up, I would say the chlorine is actually looking pretty low on this one. It does seem like it's a little on the green side, so maybe somewhere between 0.5 and 1 parts per million on the chlorine. Our copper, copper is definitely on the pink side, so somewhere between 1.3 and 3 parts per million. So as compared to uh, that really high quality water filter we looked at earlier, which I think had no copper, on the nitrate test, I would say that definitely, um, you know, somewhere between zero and, and five parts per million. It's a little bit on the pink side, but it's not as pink uh, as that five ppm is. The nitrites, I would say, look like they're pretty much at zero. So that's a really good sign. Dasani actually doing pretty well here on these tests thus far. So on our Dasani bottled water, 
Let's say our alkalinity is looking like 40 parts per million. pH. Um, I would say it looks like somewhere, actually maybe closer to 6.0 uh, on the pH scale. And then our hardness, uh, I would say hardness is around 3 grains or 50 parts per million. This iron test on the Dasani looks like it's also very low. Looks like it's probably 0 uh, parts per million. And our results are now ready for our lead and pesticide tests on the tap water. Uh, so once again, on both of these strips, I would say that the line on the left, closer to the one, is significantly darker than the line on the right. So I'd say that these are both testing negative for pesticides and lead, which is a really good sign, because you would hope you wouldn't have those things in your bottled water. Looking at the lead and pesticide levels in the Dasani water sample, uh, once again, I would say both of these tests are negative. So the line that is closest to the one is significantly darker than the line closest to the two. So once again, whew, <laughs> we don't have any lead or pesticides in that bottled water. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I want to thank watertestingkits.com for sponsoring this video. Uh, I definitely had fun testing these water samples. As I expected, they were all pretty similar, um, but for the peace of mind <laughs> for me seeing those results, um, I'm really glad I was able to test them. If there's another type of water you would like us to test, let me know. And if you have any questions or topic requests for future videos, would love Love to hear those from you as well. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys again soon.